like that. So listen, um, this was on my heart to tell y'all, uh, especially at the last week. I want, I want all y'all to understand something, and I really mean this. I don't care what your age is or whatever. Everybody in this room is a leader. And leaders can be found in some of the most unusual places. And you'll find out that the average good leader has had a number of different types of life experiences. And I think that everybody in this room who works with us to make this program happen would attest to that. That this ain't no rap, this is real rap. And I, I, I appreciate you and your due diligence in coming back. How many of y'all think you're leaders? That's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah. See, see, you, you, it starts with you. See, and if you believe that, you may not be leading everybody in the community, but you know who the main person is you got to lead? That's right. Say it again, 97 hours. That's so, that's right. And so that's why this program right here is like it is, because it's basically driven by you. See, when you come, you are actually motivation. Your encouragement. And just what you want from us, we get it from you. And that is the opportunity to help somebody. Because I said it last week, I'm not going to be too redundant on that, but my replacement is in this room. Or how about this? My replacement can be in this room. Because it's not as easy as saying, I'm going to be a counselor, or I'm going to be the lead. We got to address whatever it is that's slowing us up. Does that make sense? What do I mean when I say that? I want to make sure, because y'all don't have to talk. I don't want to talk. What do I mean? If I say it really depends on what you do that's going to help you achieve that, what am I saying? You're going to make your own path. Yep. Yeah. What, come on, give me something. You gotta speak out. Good, come on. We got, um, like, right now, we have to get ourselves aligned to be a leader. Like, mm -hmm. get aligned, like, make the choices that's going to put us on alignment to be on our way to being a leader. And see the importance why we have to be a leader. Because mm -hmm. sometimes it's something like we don't want to be, be too busy doing what we're doing, but while we're doing what we're doing, somebody's always watching us. Wow. Because we believe in an impression behind. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, we put it off influence when we talk to people and doing stuff. Let me tell you something. Some of my best experiences, and I'm going to say this real, is look, my best experiences, because uh, I told you, we all have our stories. I ain't going to, you know, I got to go with my whole story. But what I will tell you is this, is that the best people, and I, some of the most creative people I ran into, I ran into places like the shelter. Word. Mm -hmm. Some of the most creative, informative, and watch this, encouraging people. I didn't even know that. I ran into. I ran into the show. That's crazy. Because you know why? Why, why, why would that happen? Why, why would you think that people that are in places like the shelter could be some of the most encouraging people? Tell me. Somebody talk to me. Come on, man. Come on. Dwayne. But that wasn't much for the show. I felt like it was like all horror. Or you like I said stories. But the people that worked with us, they didn't care about what was going on with us. They were right just chill trying to help. And you think it was going to help because if I had help on the outside, I would be in the show. So I was surprised to see people like really enthusiastic and helping people that seem like they just give up on yourself. So, by the way, now that's a good point to put away because uh, I believe in conversations being driven by the group. Now, here's what happened last week. If you remember, last week we talked about anger. And I told y'all last week that that could be the topic of discussion because what you're helping this group do, us, you're helping us to mold, to put in place what we're going to call a curriculum. Anybody know what a curriculum is? It's pretty much the guidelines on how we all operate as a program. So when I come, or when Larry come, or when, 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 when Joe come, or when any, when any of the brothers come, when we come, in, we not only come in the, oh, Al, I know how, I, Al, you need to do such and such. No, we also come in the hear, like Al said, if I didn't hear Al say it about his car two weeks ago, we wouldn't even know that Al had it. So it's good that we listen. Amen? 
Yeah. All right. Yes. So now let's get right into it because uh, Larry, Larry got to get up there and Larry going to share. But I wanted to, I wanted to ask, uh, could somebody give me a definition of anger? Don't make it hard. Whatever come on your mind. Unresolved feeling. Okay. Okay. Unresolved feeling. Disturbing. Huh? Disturbing. Unresolved. Unresolved. You said what I'm talking about? Y'all are some of the best writers I ran into. The great we yell Alright? Now go ahead. Somebody said ticked off. Ticked off. I like that. And that mind me Disturbing. Disturbing. I'm just speaking name tag. Anything else? We ain't got to get too deep, but I want to hear you. Negative way to you, um, release your uh, feelings. Negative way of releasing feelings. I like that one. Now, wow, that's a good one. Everybody getting some good. Negative. Right. Uh, I'll come back to that. Hey, is that other brother still? Is that other brother out there? Nobody out there. What, nobody? Okay, you can have no, 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 I got him. I saw it. So anyway, so, so, so now I'm going to give you the definition that goes along with everything that you said. Anger, anger is a strong feeling of annoyance. Oh, you had some left? Mm -mm, I'm scratching my head. A strong feeling of annoyance. Can you feel that? A strong feeling of annoyance. Mm -hmm. uh, a, a, tongue, a strong feeling of irritation. I'm irritated. Mm -hmm. And it's also... A feeling of displeasure. I'm not. I'm not happy right now. Mm -hmm. Not satisfied. Something done. Watch this. Something done. Tick me off. You feel me? Yeah. So everything that you said lines right up with this definition of what anger is. And because violence is real in our communities, one of the things that you all, we all, got to be clear on is what ticks me off. Real quick. I left y'all last Monday. I told y'all I was in the meeting. I got into a little thing. I got ticked off. Didn't mean to, but it happened. But the thing that I had to do was practice some of the things that we're going to talk about tonight. Okay? Now, some levels of anger can be very, very serious. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Some, some levels of anger can be like, hey, uh, you know what? I'm, I'm pissed off with you. But, um, I ain't so pissed off I want to suck a bunch of you. I'm just upset with you and I ain't like that. What makes us get to a point of violence? Not releasing the anger. Not releasing the anger. Oh, that's a good one, man. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. Not releasing the anger. Bottom Not releasing up. the anger does what? Build up the Make it build up. It builds up. Who said that? It builds up. That's it. There you go. Why is it in our community? Okay. And you see, I mean, what we got here? Almost like 330 homicides. Mm -hmm. This one maybe. Yeah, it was like 329 last. 329 so, so it's it's above that because because last Tuesday it was 329. So why? What's going on? I mean, in our communities, I got a lot of smart people out there. What's going on? What are we missing? Anger out of control. Anger out of control. Warm, help me with that. What you mean? Not, not being, not knowing how to deal with it. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. I like that, man. You come out in a negative way. Usually uh, mm -hmm. in a physical way. Yeah, yeah. Because you're not intelligent enough to deal with it rationally. Now let's stop right there. Is it necessarily because we're not intelligent enough? No. Like I want, I want to catch that. Yeah. But you, but you can't, you can't predict, uh, resolve, like reciprocate resolve with the other people. Okay. You want to resolve it so it won't be that anger stored in the store in there. And plus, it could be you, 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 you might be some fear involved. You don't want to walk around with anxiety because it's no, you know, you get, you know, it's no resolve with whatever the differences are. So, Dwayne, I want to ask Mel, Mel, what you think? Just help me out. I don't care. Whatever's on top of your head. 
it ain't gotta be real deep. I mean, anger comes comes with in different different categories. And somebody can push you. That's mm -hmm. you come in anger. Here we go. See, I mean, it just you just don't anger don't have to start up just because you got anger in you. Mm -hmm. Somebody can provoke anger. Amen. See now we got two different versions. One is a lack of knowledge, which we know they ain't got to be stupid, but they might not be thinking right. The other piece over here is you you got pushed into it. So you know, you know, sometimes a person is actually trying to defend themselves. And the anger can build up because now it hit you and you and you curled up. So when you curled up, what it did was it motivated me more. Because that frustration that I had in me, now I'm getting it all out. And unfortunately, you bought that. But we can't do that. But that happens. See, because anger is a tool that we use as a means of just addressing that particular field. Got me? What do you think about this, Sebastian? Uh, it depends on the situation. Like a lot of the very um, verbal communication or something you don't understand, like somebody from a different country could do something that upsets you and you don't know how to explain to them that you're upset of something they did. Sebastian, now you brought a third point. One is about knowledge, one is about getting pushed, but we gotta remember we live in a country where people from all different backgrounds Person. are here. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And so somebody might tease you because you can't speak good English. Mm -hmm. Diversity, yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, so, so now the thing with that, though, is when you took it that far, <laughs> when, when that person took it that far, they don't know what they released. Because somebody's going to get upset. So we got three different versions of where anger can come from. And so now I want to know who in this room tends to get angry sometimes. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm keeping it real. I'm keeping it real. I'm, ra I'm, I'm raising my tools. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me something, Bruce, about your anger. Somebody say something to me, I'm ready to fight. Okay. Okay. And see, that's real. See, that's real. See, that's why, remember last week we was talking, it was that one of the things that men have a problem with is being able to communicate. But what we're doing right now is we're talking about something that we probably wouldn't have talked about had they not been brought up. Think about that. Now, had we not been here today, Melvin might not even think about it, but he might have reacted to somebody later on to bend off how much they pushed him. Well, Sebastian might have been with somebody that would have been, you know, having a dialogue issue, and he might have seen him and want to say, oh, my baby, you chill out with him. He don't go for all He ain't go for all you. And then the next thing you know, boom, the guy didn't listen to what you were warning him on, and the guy was being teased, just took it to the next level. Or Brother Warren, who was sharing with us about the fact that some people just don't think about it. They just go. And that's what we have to do in our community. That's why our young people are having such a difficult time because of, you know, impulse. What do I mean when I say impulse? Yeah, here we go. See, they just respond. It's not a lot of time involved in thinking about it, but you know why I'm telling y'all this? You know why we're having this conversation? Because you might be the very one that becomes the mediator in the midst of a bad situation. Oh, yeah. So it's some, you know, some, some, somebody really might get so upset. He's going to say something now. I, mean, um, I, I, I was saying, you know, I, I think I did, I, 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 all the anger that I, 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 I try to, you know, uh, I, I release out on other individuals, I, I deal with them myself. Mm -hmm. I deal with myself because anger starts with one thing yourself. Mm -hmm. so why are you getting angry? Why are you doing what you're doing? Angry? And I, I, I think yes. I have a way out now. I mm -hmm. have a way out where my God can understand me. Because mm -hmm. human beings, as a human being, we only have certain characteristics. But a God that I know I can I, I can give it to, 
and I can go to that person and say I'm sorry and keep it moving. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people don't want to hear you sorry. Mm -hmm. You know, don't want to hear you didn't meant to do what you did. Mm -hmm. So I, I give it to God. You know? So, so, so Alan, before, before I, you may be able to answer some of this one. Before we go, because time is moving on us, and I don't want to take up too much of your time. But let me ask you a question. What, are, what does summer anger look like? What does it look like? Expression. Some of the yeah. racial expressions. Yeah. Some of it, some of it don't got no face, but it's just too much silence. Like and, and watch this. That could be the most complicated person. Because mm -hmm. you don't know what's on their mind. They not that they not saying anything. All of a sudden the rage comes up. You see this rage out of nowhere. But that's what I wanted to hear. Because those are some of the things. Where's he going? Okay, anyway, that's where some of the rage comes from. You got me? So, so you're going to keep it on moving. Now, what are some of the causes of anger? What are you doing? I wanted to talk to somebody that he had a difference of opinion about something. Mm -hmm. And they wouldn't talk back to me. Mm -hmm. So I, got, I was angry inside. And, and the thing about it is, I wanted to talk to them, and they was getting more angry, like, to put their hands on me. Like, Martin Luther King would talk about, like, talking to somebody without them being violently disagreeable. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So how can I talk to somebody if they want to get, like, mad enough to fight me, because I'm trying to, like, dip, disarm something mm -hmm. that's, like, seem like it's building it, it's out of control. But again, what we want to deal with is how much control are we in and how much of control are we in when we are at a, at, at a point I, of view? I feel like I just want to fall down sometimes. I feel like I just want to break down when I can't, when I get that angry. Because I know I can't, like, like lash out and stuff. Well, how about this? How about some of the other outcomes is anxiety? See? Some people deal with anxiety. Now, now, now I could be wrong, but I watched Sebastian. He really. These some laid back guys, you know. Al, Naeem, real fall back, laid back guys. Me too. But what do you like when you get mad? No, I see the ego. Why? She just look like they good. That's good. That's good. That's good. See, that's good. Now, are you in control? Yeah. Maybe. That's what keeps the waist up. Here we go. I like that. I like the response. Sebastian, do you get angry sometimes? You put it down all the time? Yeah, I keep to myself. And that's your question? Yeah. That's okay. That just helps me make a drink. Uh -huh. And I'm calm down, like, don't work, and mm -hmm. I go home, I do me, you know, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I try not to get angry, I try not to get angry when it's business or anything like that. Mm -hmm. So, whatever the choice is, yeah, I don't know. So you're saying, Sebastian, you're saying some of the contributing factors to the anger, sometimes somebody was in love with you. Is that what it was? And when it got in your business, what happened? Got angry. Got angry. And so these are all the different factors that we deal mm -hmm. with every day. But what I like about what you said, you said, I don't want to let it get out. It, ain't, it, ain't, it can't come out. You don't want to see this. Because once it gets out of control, it's out of control. Is that what you said? You said, that's how we are. But let's do this. What happens? What, what's affected by our anger? Um, what was the day our mood? Mm -hmm. Our mood of the day is affected by our anger? How about this one? How about we have relationship problems? Anybody figure that out? Anybody ever ran into that? We have relationship problems. You find yourself not being able to deal with certain things because what happens? You got angry. And you got angry in such a way, sometimes I'm going to make her do right. I'm going to make him do right. I'll beat him or beat her into doing what's right. Oh, yeah. Maybe not in your body, but it happens. It creates trouble in our relationships. 
Hold up. Go ahead. Okay. Well, just to com um, compound on what you was just saying, what I was thinking about about anger is, um, to give an example of, um, he was just saying about how somebody else can lose control. So when you lose control of yourself, and nine times out of ten is because that you're trying to control somebody else. Mm. So if you try to control somebody else, you're going to lose control of yourself. Because you can't control two entities at one time. So the entity you should always try to control is yourself. Mm. Self-control is the big um, component of not losing your anger. Mm.